Hello, I'm Mike Royer. For more than 20 years, my favorite thing to do in television was a weekly feature called Spirit of Alabama. Now, here at WVUA 23, I work with students as they do this feature that tells the story of good people doing good things in our community. And I still think it's important to include those kinds of stories in our newscast once in a while. I wonder if the spirit of Alabama might be something that you'd like to be associated with. I really don't know much about advertising, but I do know this, it simply works. Here are a few examples of the kinds of stories that we feature in our Spirit of Alabama reports. I happen to be the right place at the right time. On the deck of the USS Missouri as the Japanese surrender the war. Stories like that, stories about Ray Farabee and the men and women who have served our country and fought our wars. We want to do stories about World War II veterans as long as there are still some living. And stories of hope, stories about people like Kelsey Honeycutt, a cancer survivor that got to attend college because of the Fairhope Foundation, which provides scholarships for students who have battled cancer in their lives. It means the world to me and my family is all, all together. We honestly are so thankful that we got that, that I got that opportunity to receive and still be receiving a scholarship from them because if it wasn't for people like the Fairhope Foundation, then I mean, I don't know how I would pay for college. We have a friend named William Taylor or Bill Taylor. We call him BT and we're sort of BT's family. You may know him, though BT has some challenges. He's a great employee at Home Depot. He calls our newsroom a couple of times every day just to talk. And BT comes at Christmas time to sing for our viewers. So when we did a Spirit of Alabama story about BT, we just had to ask him to sing a bit. If tomorrow may never come, I work for all my life. In the middle of all of the news of the day that we're committed to cover, we think a good news story is never out of place. It's really what Spirit of Alabama is all about. If I was an advertiser, I'd like to be tied to good news like Spirit of Alabama. Every story, every single one is positive and highlights what's good about people in our area. Whenever you get better at something, it makes you just want to do it more. And I think that's what really drew me to the horn, just the constant progression over time. Elizabeth Elkin, one of our best students, did this story about University of Alabama student Joshua Williams. He won the equivalent of a national championship in the most prestigious music competition in the whole country. The spirit of Alabama. I'm a little partial because of how long I've done the feature and how much I love the stories. But now that our students here at the University of Alabama are doing the Spirit of Alabama stories, I'm more excited than ever about doing more and more stories down the road. Why don't you be part of these wonderful stories? Be the next sponsor of Spirit of Alabama. I don't think you'll be sorry.